morning and welcome to Grain TV. It's Monday, July 16, 2012. I'm Logan Burgess. To, to my right is Brock Shimano. Well, we're right approaching the pit open here in Chicago. Let's take a look at the FireTip platform. Let's take a look at these live quotes. We had grains up huge in the overnight session. As you can see here, we have old crop corn trading up 36, new crop corn trading up 37. It wouldn't be surprising if we saw a limit move today. A 40 cent move trading might be halted, or trading will be halted at that point if we do trade up 40 cents. If we turn our attention to soybeans, 37 cents higher on old crop, 42 cents higher on the new crop. Wheat's up 28 in Chicago, up 29 cents in Kansas City. As you can see here from crude oil and the dollar index, not a lot of news there in the outside markets. It's all about weather, Brock. It is all about weather over the weekend. We did get some updates from our friends over at Plant Analytics. If we take a look at the soil moisture content for the growing region of the Midwest, you can see southern part of Illinois is actually down in the 30 percentile of uh, soil moisture capacity. If you look over in Ohio, we're also in the 30 percent. The area that's starting to be a concern is over in Iowa. This was kind of a garden spot in relation right. to the other part of the growing region, but now we're down the 60 percentile in that area as well. If we take a look at what is needed in, by way of precipitation to actually end this drought, you can see southern Illinois, we need about 10 to 14 inches of rain. Uh, across much of the Midwest, we also need about 10 to 14 inches of rain. But you can see that this is actually starting to creep over in those western parts of the Corn Belt that were off to a good start. Now it's starting to be a concern over there as well. Right, Brock. Well, things remain extremely dry out there. This is not good for yields on this corn crop as we have much of the crop now in the pollination phase. One thing that could save this crop is cooler temperatures, but right now we're not looking at that on the 6 to 10 day forecast here. If you take a look at the uh, temperatures expected out of that report here, as you can see here, between 60 and 70% uh, higher temperatures above normal than what we typically see, especially for that area of northern Iowa, northern Illinois, which have been doing respectively better than, than some, some areas of southern Illinois and southern Indiana. So that's not good to see here. If we take a look here at the actual precipitation that we're expecting uh, out of that 6 to 10 day forecast, as you can see, the very eastern side of the Corn Belt should be getting a little bit, uh, or we're expecting above normal precipitation for that area, but no relief for that areas of Illinois, Iowa that we were talking about there before. As a result here, we see uh, grains nearly trading up limit in the overnight session. We will be getting crop progress and conditions reported this afternoon at 3.30 Central Time. We'll be tweeting about that when that comes out at Grain TV is where you can find us. I think that kind of wraps up our show here for Monday.